Oh, okay. Can you imagine that you can buy this arm? It will come tomorrow. And uh, in an hour, you can have it running using Katia Magic in the loop of SysML simulation with all the use cases of uh, MBSC plus hardware in the loop. And we will explain how to do it. And this is uh, as example project, which will give you like an entry point to the very nice demonstration on your office table or home table. And also at the same time on a great connection to Katia Magic, which can be adjusted for other purposes too. So first of all, so here you go with this ARM. It uh, uses uh, uh, Arduino Uno as a controller. You can buy it for $60 right now. And also you need batteries, you know, that it would come, you know, with those batteries in order that um, you buy them separately. They are more powerful batteries to power this ARM separately. So once you have this ARM assembled, right, it takes like an hour to assemble, you need to connect it to USB port of your PC. Here's how we connect a USB cable. Here you see USB cable connected to the PC, and this USB cable is required to, con con uh, to control this robotic arm. And you know, you can disconnect, you can connect, uh, just we need to restart simulation if you disconnect because port will be uh, not available. So let's say if we disconnect it, you see immediately it's gone, you know, this console of uh, execution and then uh, we need to connect again and restart simulation. So we need to connect again. You see connected, it's now listening. And in Katia Magic, if we will stop simulation and restart again, there you go, now it will start controlling again. You see it's going through the coordinates. And we can switch to automatic mode and then it goes through the state machine and then controls this robotic arm. That's it. And uh, then uh, if the port is not available, install this uh, driver. So this driver is a specific driver for this Arduino Uno to install. It's a very common driver to install and this enables the port. So you can check that port is available once you will connect. You see here, for example, COM port 5 available in the device manager. You can see if I would disconnect, you see it disappears. It disappears, I don't see here COM port 5. So it means it's once I'm connected, you know, it should appear. Uh, and if the driver is missing, it will not appear. So driver, like uh, it can be missing in your case. So you need to install this if, you know, that it would not be missing. So now you go to the Arduino IDE and we provide the um, Arduino code, as you can see here, to control this hardware. Uh, so this Arduino code, uh, you need to upload. So Arduino IDE is very popular IDE. So download it, install it, and you will get ability to choose uh, board. Uh, I'm not skipping any steps, so you choose the board here, Arduino Uno, and also port. Uh, so could, in my case, it's COM5, could be COM11 or something else, COM, COM7. And then just click Upload button. So you will click Upload button, so code will uh, be uploaded, compiled, and uploaded to the Arduino Uno. See, uploading, uploading, uploading. Done. So now the hardware piece is prepared. It's connected, COM port works. Now open. For the Katia Magic side, you have two files, Python file, which works as the server converting the network uh, signals to the serial signals, because as you remember, we have uh, USB cable control connected to that uh, robotic arm and uh, Katia Magic file. So in the Python file, you just need to open the file and check that port is correct. So open the file and check that port is correct. You see COM port 5, that's it. And uh, that's it pretty much. And now you can open Katia Magic project and in Katia Magic project file, uh, we need to check that uh, invocation of this Python file is also correct. So in this state machine, uh, I can show you location in the state machine. This is like initial state machine, which will run uh, at the beginning. You see manual mode, right? So here on entry, we have a code which executes that Python file. In that code, you need to check that your Python location, Python installation folder is correct. You see, it's, it's just like, you see, it's like Python 3.1.2, right? In your case, it could be Python 3.1.3. And actually, that gives us a clue that you need to install Python, right? If your Python is not installed, so go to 
internet, download Python and install it. And if you have different version of the Python, change that location. You, you see you need to change that to a specific one. And that's pretty much it. In Python, we also need, so if I will go CMD, Python. So you see I have the Python here. So to, to check uh, which libraries and or modules we have installed, so we just type uh, pip list. And in our case, we have this serial, you see it, uh, module, but uh, that would be the way to install it. Uh, install file serial. You see, this is a uh, You see, this just shows that it's already installed. So if you don't have it installed, install it because this is what's missing for me for my original Python installation. So that is done. Now you can uh, actually in Katia Magic uh, execute the simulation. And uh, I'm just closing all the not required uh, data uh, files. And then I'm running the simulation you see here. Just run simulation. Katia Magic executes, and you see it goes to the manual mode uh, here in the state, and it runs this um, Python file. And uh, I don't see it console running. So it means that something got, went wrong. And what went wrong is actually that COM port is occupied, and it's occupied by Arduino running. So I need to switch off close Arduino. This is actually very important that you would not run multiple uh, the, uh, software or devices on the same port. So it just clicked finished Arduino instance. Now I can run again. And now it's all great. You see like Python uh, file got executed. It is important that the Python file would be in the same folder as Katia Magic project. Uh, here you see they are in the same folder. It's a relative path for them to execute. And you see now it coordinates running. You know, it is uh, actually listening uh, for, the, for the coordinates uh, of the simulation. And if you would check the hardware, you know, it would be running uh, and it would listen. So joint one, joint two, joint three, joint four, joint five, you know, pretty much all the joints uh, are here. And now I can go to another state machine here and I can also take the, here you see this uh, controller UI, I can move and I see that my robotic arm is moving. I can make a video actually of it uh, moving. So here we have, uh, Robotic arm here. Let's see if I will move with this uh, joint. Uh, see if it's actually moving. Uh, and the speed of robotic arm is controlled by the code. You know, you can make it faster if you wish. You know, yeah, this is all completely, you know, customizable. Yes. And I can switch to the automatic mode or I can stop it, you know, and switch to automatic mode, but let's say switch to automatic mode. And now this state machine is controlling. So it goes through states, state by state, state by state, and controls this robotic arm. So this is the most straightforward way to connect. And this interface is actually a fast interface. How it works is actually that we have here FMU, which uh, listens for the inputs and then sends that UDP uh, communication uh, protocol signals uh, to this Python, listening for that UDP, and then uh, we just input every joint position and we get uh, we get a response uh, converted to the serial by Python script uh, running. Here you see we have inputs. Every time we change those inputs, I send to UDP. Uh, functional mockup uh, interface and you don't need to take care of it it's already here it's already available so you just need katia magic of simulation toolkit or model magic model analyzer and this will work um, uh, there are plenty of videos how to con connect create your own uh, fmu interface uh, for other integrations and including hardware integration and uh, this is um, very straightforward you just specify the port and this Python file, as you can see here, 
it listens uh, every IP in this network uh, on that port uh, and sends uh, and converts uh, to the serial and this COM5 when it is running. You see here we have those updated coordinates. So it's a very convenient method because we see what's happening. We see this console as in between, you know, running and converting. And since it's very also fast interface, you can make it milliseconds here, like 10 to, uh, or 50 milliseconds and it will convert from CATIA simulation to the hardware and will control the hardware, whatever, you know, is in this, uh, from the speed perspective. This is one way. You can also find it, uh, another way, you know, example, which we provide and uh, you can make it bi-directional too. So thank you and let us know how it will go.